The Lovejoy Leopards just completed the best season in their school's young history, and while they've always been very competitive, under the direction of first-year head coach Chris Ross, they emerged as one of the area's most pleasant surprises. Let's get a closer look now in this week's Dalworth Clean Inside Story. The coaching profession at the high school level is often a nomadic existence. As they work their way up through the ranks, it's not uncommon to live in a new city every couple of years. That has certainly been the case for Lovejoy head coach Chris Ross, with stops at Cedar Park, Red Oak, and even a short stint in college at Boise State. Ross has covered a lot of ground over the last decade. At each stop along the way, Ross has taken a program and turned it into an instant contender. When he arrived at Red Oak in 2018, the Hawks were coming off a 2-8 season. In his two seasons at the helm, they went a combined 20-4 with trips to the playoffs. After going 7-4 last season, Lovejoy just completed a 13-1 season under Ross, coming within two games of the state championship. Oh, I, love, I love the challenge and the opportunity that Lovejoy presented. You know, Lovejoy's a team that's been good. I felt like they could be great, and those kids have shown that. And that's a, that's a credit to these young men. Few, if any, gave the Leopards a chance to win a very competitive district, but Lovejoy featured one of the area's most explosive offenses, led by senior quarterback R.W. Rucker. And he's quick to point out that this year's success was due in large part to the camaraderie that's been developed over the last six years. Every single one of these guys in my class, we've been best friends since eighth to seventh grade. We've been playing ball together since seventh grade. So we know we've been good. You know, we've been playing together. We've been battling it out. When the time came when Coach Ross came along, we were like, let's go a new challenge. And, you know, it's just been, it's been fantastic. Alito head coach Tim Buchanan is a believer after narrowly escaping an upset bid from the Leopards. Chris Ross is one of the best football coaches I've ever gone up against. Uh, and the Lovejoy kids are good football players, so that's a heck of a football team we just beat. Despite the season-ending loss to Alito, the Leopards appear to be a team on the rise and one to keep an eye on next season. Taking over a new job in a pandemic year is not an ideal situation, but it's one that Ross and his team will remember with great pride. I, I told my coaches, somebody's going to have the best COVID plan in the state of Texas, and if they do, they're going to have a unique advantage over the other programs. And we felt like we had the best plan in Texas. And our coaches felt that way, our kids felt that way, and it allowed us to hit the ground rolling. You know, I looked at it as it's an opportunity. Some people won't know how to handle it, and some will. I'm so thankful that I got to coach this senior group. What an amazing group of men. You know, their leadership and their belief in what we were doing and in each other was why we got to have such a, such a season like that. The Inside Story is brought to you by Dalworth Clean. Call 469-729-4501 now and ask for the touchdown special for $50 off.